Good Hello. evening to you. My name is Teacher Oscar. Welcome to my class. What is your name? My name is Ruth. Ruth. My name is Ruth. Hello, Ruth. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm very happy to be your teacher today. How are you? Uh, I'm 19. No, how are you? How are you doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't hear it clearly. Very good. <laughs> very good. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm very happy to be your teacher. It's my pleasure to help you learn English. So tell me, why are you interested to learn English? Uh, because I would like to learn English in I would I would need to go abroad for learning and that this is why I need to practice my pronunciations and my speaking. Mm -hmm. And oh. actually uh three days later I need to take my ELF exam. So this is wow. why I'm going to <laughs> Wow, that's so nice. So, are you excited about your exam? How do you feel about it? Mm. <laughs> Not at all. Because uh, <laughs> last time when I just take my speaking test, I just got 5.5. And my requirement is need me to get 6. So, six. no. <laughs> okay. All right. So, if I, so, this is not your first time to take the IELTS exam. Okay. So, is that right? Not yeah. your first time. Okay. Now I want no. to know more. I want to know more about your speaking test. What were your difficulties during the speaking test? Uh, I think sometimes because I cannot think about a word, I need to describe my feelings or my mm -hmm. thoughts. So I just uh, cannot say anything. Okay. All right. Okay. Anything else? What were your other struggles? And sometimes I might be quite anxious and I was afraid of talking to others. Uh, okay, I see. <laughs> so something to do with your emotion, like you're being anxious. Yes. Well, that's true. When mm. we are nervous, we, we tend <laughs> not able to speak well. Mm. Okay, yeah. all right. I think now, my mind mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, How, now you mentioned that I sometimes think. you don't know the words to use. How about in the sentence structure? Did you have difficulties making a sentence? That too. Yeah, okay. sometimes. Sometimes. Mm. Okay. And then how about your listening? Are you able to understand the question? Uh, sometimes I might uh, get a not so good understanding of it. Mm -hmm. Now, is it because you did not understand the question? or perhaps because you did not understand the accent of the examiner? Uh, sometimes it is because I didn't get their meanings. And mm. I will, maybe because they, they asked me to talk about some text messages, I will just put it into video messages. So this is what happened. Oh, I see. Because, you know, um, I remember I had a student, he complained because well, that student, he can speak English quite well, but when, but when he took mm -hmm. the IELTS exam, he had difficulty to answer the question because he could not understand the accent of the examiner. <laughs> so <laughs> That is terrible. <laughs> yes, indeed. Now, he says that um, the accent was not American. It was not British. He said it was something else, or maybe it was an Australian accent, because in <laughs> IELTS, so it's not only British, but it's about English from all over the world. Okay. <laughs> okay. How about um, how about do you have problems with the topics that are asked to you? Mm. I think I can handle the part one and the part two, but sometimes in the part three, the, mm -hmm. the he will ask some questions I didn't prepare before, and maybe yes. part, I would just had my mind totally blanking out. Exactly, <laughs> that's true. Because some of my students too have the same problem. They know English, but because they have no idea about the topic, they have nothing yes. to say. Okay. I'm curious, when was the last time you took your IELTS exam? Mm, September the 19th. 
September the 19th. Okay, have you been increasing your knowledge about different topics? Mm, yes. Yes. I just oh. got more preparation for that. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. So I want to know, what topics do you think are your weaknesses? Mm, I think it is some topics which talks about people. People. And I don't know. I just think that every time when he asks me to describe a people, and ah. this is my weakness. Describing. Okay. All right. Very good. Anything else that you have? How about experiences? When they ask a question, that tell me about a time, tell me about your experience, or tell me about a travel experiences. Mm. That was not a problem of mine. Not a problem. Okay. All right. So, so yeah. your one weakness is people. Anything else? Mm, let me think. Oh, sometimes they ask me to talk about some subjects. Uh, for example, the physics, the chemistry. And oh. just, I don't have any knowledge about that. <laughs> Academic knowledge. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. what what is the subject that you are not good at? Science. Science. Physics and chemistry. And chemistry. What's your major, by the way? Uh, my major is marine engineering and marine. technology. Marine engineering. So you are good with technology. Questions about computer <laughs> and things like that. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I learned it, but I'm not good at it. <laughs> not good at it. You know, sometimes in the exam, they will ask you about your opinions. Opinions about social issues. Okay. What do you think is your level when the discussion is about social issues? Are you able to talk about it? Are you able mm, to share an when opinion? They talk about some, mm -hmm. I think when they talk about some topic I was some I was familiar with, for example, the transportation mm -hmm. systems or yes, some, or something yeah. like our relationships with our old and the young and yes but sometimes when they talk about something just like your opinion about some uh, news on uh, currently happening yes I just, just what to say that's true that's true they would also ask questions about world news <laughs> okay yeah. i would agree you know what i am very happy with this uh, what with this uh, actually right now we are already having a class no, I'm asking questions yeah. and I'm listening to you carefully and I can see that you have a good knowledge in English. You have excellent listening skills. You can understand spoken English well. When I talk to you, when I ask you questions, you are able to follow what I am saying. And when oh, you answer you. the question, when you answer the questions, you are able to speak correct grammar. Your sentences are good and you are fluent, okay? So from what I believe, okay, you already have the knowledge in English. What you need to prepare on is your knowledge about the topics, about what you need to say, okay? Yeah. All right. Mm. But, <laughs> yes, go on. What do you want to say? <laughs> I just so afraid of this. <laughs> if you ask me to talk about some topics which I am not familiar with, I just, mm -hmm. you know, I just don't know what to say. I just cannot use it to, to describe it in Chinese. How can I describe it in English? Okay. Now, um, I wonder, for example, if there is a question that you don't have an idea, how will you answer that question? Hmm. Uh, for example, I would just uh, say that uh, this is a question I never think about. So please give me some seconds to think about mm -hmm. it. And okay. then I would just use all my knowledge, try to explain this, but sometimes <laughs> it's <itself. laughs> Okay, okay. All right. Well, that's good. Okay, that's a, a good way to start. I don't have this. You, you are honest and direct. I don't have good knowledge about this topic. And then... Now, because you don't know much about the topic, then you don't need to elaborate so much. You can just give about two or three sentences. That would be fine. Okay. Okay. All right. So for today's lesson, we will actually going to focus on the part one. Part one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but 
but you told me that part one and part two is quite easy for you. Your main problem is part three. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Part three is about in-depth. Let me write in-depth discussion. Okay. In-depth discussion. Part one is about is about uh, personal information, which is quite easy. I'm sure you can handle this well. So I would suggest instead that we practice for part one, why don't we practice part three? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So All sometimes right. I think uh -huh. there are some similarities between part one and part three, but in part three, you need to uh, see the questions on the macro level, which means you need to talk about the social instead of yourself. Exactly. And questions of mine. Right, right. <laughs> so because in part three, it's about being able to express your opinions, your opinions as a macro, your opinions, your ideas, and how mm. you would explain in English. Okay. Yeah. All right. Would you like to uh, practice on this instead? Yeah, I would yes. like to. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. So why don't we start with a warm-up question, okay? Okay. Okay. Let's say, um, so for example, like, um, so um, do you like watching movies? Mm, yes, I'm a huge fan of watching movies. And exactly every time when I was in my weekends, I would just invite one of my friends and we can go to the cinema and we can enjoy the popcorns there. And I think nowadays, many people in China, they have a huge preference for the movies. Every time mm -hmm. there was a blockbuster, which was on in, which is on in the cinemas, many people, especially the teenagers, they will go mm -hmm. to the cinema to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. That was marvelous. Good work. Now you mentioned about watching movies in the cinema. Today, people can now watch movies everywhere on on the phone, on the computer, on on TV. Do you think that in the future there will be no more cinema? Mm, I don't think so. I think cinema is a place for people to enjoy the whole plot and enjoy the whole movie. Uh, for example, if you just watch a movie in your home or some places not in the cinema, sometimes there are a lot of distractions will make you to stop your watching. But if you stay in the cinema, there are nothing else to distract your attention. All you can do is just sitting in front of the screen and mm -hmm. enjoy your popcorns or some Coke. All right, wonderful. And I like you use the word distraction. You get distracted. Very good. Okay. Now you mentioned about the plot, enjoying the plot. Aside from the plot, what makes a movie beautiful? Mm, I think there are many things can make a movie beautiful. For example, even mm. the background music can be a good thing. Sometimes it can stimulate our feelings, our emotions about the plot in the cinema. And also uh, the actors and actresses is mm. so important in the cinema. Because when you see their performances is not very good, you just cannot enjoy the plot as you just, just think that, oh, they were just, what the kind of things they were doing in that cinema? It was so weird. All right. Now, you meant, I'm glad that you mentioned about actors. Who is your favorite actor? Mm, as for my favorite actors, is mm -hmm. a Chinese actor named Huang Bo. Uh, mm -hmm. To be honest, I, I watched many films about her when, and the first time I watched his film, it was uh, six years ago when I watched a film named, uh, a comedy named Lost in Thailand. And exactly, he is one of the leading role in that film. That mm -hmm. film was so amusing and exciting that I just kept laughing all the, all the cinema, in, mm -hmm. the, in that cinema. Okay, all right. But why do you, you talk about the movie, the movie Lost in Thailand was hilarious. You were laughing, but why do you like him among the many actors? Mm. Among, what does it mean, among yes. the many actors? Among, among the many actors, okay, why do you like him? Okay, 
I mean, there are oh, many. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. To be honest, he wasn't that kind of people who looks quite handsome. But I just mm -hmm. think that her performances in that movie was spectacular and gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I just think that uh, he just make the people in that cinema in the film which which was like a pre people in reality mm -hmm. and i just and all his movement in that cinema was quite amusing and for other people uh, i other actors i had i watched in that in other films i just think that uh they just not don't have that quite good performances in the cinema in the mm -hmm. movie okay all right very good now so he is a good actor indeed because you said you mentioned about the movements so he he does not just act on his face but it also acts with the body okay and you said yeah he wasn't the kind of people now there's something wrong with the grammar here okay can you correct this sentence oh. he uh oh sorry i don't know how to crack it okay say he not wasn't so i said he isn't isn't oh yes yeah. is he dead Sometimes already I or always not yet? use the past time yes okay. <laughs> okay okay so he wasn't <laughs> the kind of not people person oh person yeah. yes because it's only one he isn't the kind of person yeah yes that's now, right <laughs> right now because he is an actor okay this is already correct or you can make it even better. You can say he is not the kind of performer. Okay. Oh yeah. Yes, performer. That is good. But can't... Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. The okay. Okay. See, that was easy. Actually, I asked the question about the actor because I wanted to know how you would describe people, and you did very well. And it was very <laughs> fluent. So. Okay, let's try another okay. one. Okay. Who is this athlete that you admire? Uh, to be honest, I seldom watch many competitions. And mm -hmm. if you ask me to choose one of the athletes I may admire, I would mm -hmm. choose a person named, oh my God, I just do even know her names, but I know he is the leader of the Chinese uh, volleyball team and exactly they, the whole team they just won the won the first prize in the world class competitions, and I was mm -hmm. really proud of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, very good. You don't. Uh, that's good. You have. You don't really like sports, but you were you were able to yeah. handle the question well. <laughs> I will give you another um another way. If you don't know anyone, let's say for example, let's say if we change, let's say who is. Uh, who is the politician? Okay, who is the politician that you admire? Okay, now if you oh don't have God. an idea, okay, if you don't have an mm -hmm. idea, all you need to do is to let's say describe, okay, describe uh, the good qualities, the good qualities of a politician. Okay, for example, mm -hmm. I'll give you an. Okay, I want you to, I'll show you how to do it. For example, like, you can start okay. by saying, um, I do not have, I, say, I do not have a favorite politician because I'm not interested in politics. But for me, a politician that I would admire will be someone, okay, then you start with someone, someone who is, who is kind to the people, okay, who is honest in his job, okay. And very de dedicated, okay, to the development, okay, of the country. Okay. All right. So in that answer, you don't have a specific politician, but you were able to answer by talking about the good qualities of a politician. Well, I really love this question. You love that? Okay. Why don't we yeah. try? Let's say, uh, let's see. Okay, okay, how about this one? Let me find something unusual. Let's say, who is the best? Let's say, uh, let's say, let's try this. I don't know. You might have, who is the best scientist? 
Oh my God. Can you give a name or you cannot give a name? I cannot give a name. Good. Okay. Now try to answer this by talking about the good qualities of the best scientists. Okay. Uh, to be honest, as I'm not someone who is quite interested in science, so mm -hmm. if you ask me to describe the, the best scientist, I'm afraid that I cannot give a name to you. But mm -hmm. I think that is what makes the best scientist is have some specific qualities. For example, they need to be quite cautious, as you know, the scientists they always need to deal with many data and uh, analyze it, analyze it. So if they didn't have too much cautious, they may not find some that <coughs> find some special uh, findings or some proof in that in that data. And another thing I think that is that they must be quite perseverance. As you know, if you need to test a uh, experiment or just uh, make some appointments, or, no, 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 um, or just make some uh, make some proof of the. Uh, examination ex experiment mm -hmm. and you may have some uh, failures and which can always make you feel quite depressed and frustrated and when in this kind of situations you must try to be quite perseverant and stick to your plans instead of just uh, lose it and don't want to get through it anymore all right very nice how did that feel that you had no idea who the <laughs> best scientist, but you were able to answer the question. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's one that strategy. Was it was, and what's so great is uh, you use the word perseverance. Now, that is not a common word. And what's so nice about your answer, because you have the word perseverance and your details went around perseverance, like to continue, to persevere and not to stop with failures, okay? So that's great okay. because it made your answer more organized and every sentence is connected to one thought instead of saying yeah. so many things, okay? Mm. All right, well, now, just okay. Just try to describe things in details. Yes, so focus on one, uh, one theme, then give details okay. okay okay i'll give you an example okay. this is one of the things uh, my other students make some mistake for example like this what is your favorite food okay this is a simple question they would say my favorite food is let's say chicken let's say dumplings all right what else they say ice cream cake and the list goes on and on and on. So if you have many favorite foods, you can start by saying, I have many different, I have many favorite foods, but I would like to talk about the dumplings. Then you give the details mm -hmm. of the dumpling instead of saying okay. all of your favorite foods. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that is focus on one and then give the details. Okay? All right, okay. let's say, okay, let's try another one. Um, so what do you usually do, say every weekend? Okay, now this is an example that my, most of my students, they would say, I go swimming, I go to the park, I go to shopping. So instead, just pick one and then talk more about it. Okay, mm. okay try to answer. Oh, I will try to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, exactly, I do many mundane things in my weekends because in the weekdays I just need to learn many things and go to the classes, which means I didn't have too much spare time to do something uh, casual. And mm -hmm. exactly when I was in the weekends, I always just uh, read some books or watch some films or just uh, going outside to play with my friends. And the favorite things I would like to do is just uh, sit in my dormitory and read my favorite novels. Exactly just last week, I read a novel named Three Body, which is written mm -hmm. by a very famous uh, writer in China named Liu Cixin. And I really love that novel as it gave many 
uh, interesting plot about the science and about the universe. That was quite interesting. All right, very good. You start with an introduction. I am busy on the on the weekdays and on the weekend I do many things. You gave three examples, then you selected one to talk more, and this is what's so nice about it. You said you pick the reading, then you explain what do you read, okay, and then an example of what you read, and then you gave details about that book that you read, okay. So that is. Very organized. Okay, organized. Okay, it is like telling okay. a story. Like it has a beginning and it continues to connect to each other. Okay. Well, 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 well. <laughs> well done. Well, I think okay, that. Thank you. <laughs> well, I think that you are ready to take your exam three days later. <laughs> that would be good. Yes, I hope you can come back and tell me that you passed the exam. Okay. Yes, I would like to do this. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, so do you have any questions before we finish the class? Mm. Uh, exactly. I think sometimes when I just talk about one thing and I suddenly find that I didn't know how to describe a work, I just stop or use some other words to explain mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. If, for example, you forgot a word, all you need to do is to, you know, just to be honest and be direct. You say, oh, I missed that. I so, oh, I forgot that word. But I hope you understand what I'm oh. trying to say. Rather than try to think what that word is and you become quiet now that will be that will not be good okay mm, yeah I would all right to. you know i really enjoyed talking to you i hope i can see you again next time okay <laughs> all right <laughs> so like to do this. you like to do this oh great uh, actually it's fun yeah. okay so if you but enjoy I don't yes. want to Yes, you just don't want to. I just don't want to take another health exam. Another okay. health exam. Okay, I will so, do this. Yes. If you enjoyed the lesson, please leave us a five star about our lesson. Okay. Okay. Right. You are really good teachers. Thank uh, you. You're welcome. <laughs>